When semester starts, everyone on the campus of U of I knows how important to keep the pace with the chime bells. But barely many people know who actually play the chimes behind the scenes. My name is actually Suzanne Wood, but I go by Sue Wood. And this is my 40th year doing that, playing the bells. Tower open by 12:30, which is when visitors start coming and get ready to play play the the keyboard. Logging in the day we log in all of our concerts, so it's usually logging in the day and the time, and then getting in preparation because I know students or other visitors will be coming in the next few minutes. We all have frequently had visitors before our play. Well, the bells have been in the tower since 1920. They raised money for 13 bells as a class memorial project. And then, in addition to that, the U.S. School of Military Aeronautics, which trained fellows for combat during World War I, said they had a memorial fund they would give for the other two bells. The reason for having 15 bells was it takes 15 Bells to Play Illinois Loyalty, which is the main school song. That song was composed and developed in 1903, mm -hmm. and so it was important that there be enough bells to play that. also needed to have an automatic system for playing and so the next class, the class of 1922, arranged to have the automatic Seth Thomas clock system put in, which you hammers outside the bells to play the, the usual Westminster tune, Westminster chime tune on the quarter hours. I need another story Something to get off my Well, this is my 40th year playing. I started playing in 1971 when Albert Marion was the chimes master. I took over as chimes master in 95, and I've been that ever since. My life is kind of boring. Need something that I can confess. Well, I usually come every day, Monday through Friday, and also occasionally on weekends if we have special concerts. Um, if I have a student who is far enough advanced that he, can, he or she can play the full concert by himself and also handle visitors, then some days I don't come there, especially if I have a, another obligation. I've been on the break, so tell me what you want to hear. I, I enjoy music and I've always played piano or organ anyway, and so this was a good side interest to complement those. The one thing that sticks in my mind is one time, quite a few years ago, it could have been as many as 20 years ago, the massed university bands were on the auditorium steps getting ready to play the 1812 Overture. And my husband s sat in the chime tower and one of the fellows at the other end of the auditorium stood at the other end. And when it came time to play bells during the 1812 Overture, the other fellow would say, okay, now, and my husband would say, okay, now, and so I would furiously play all kinds of bells, and no special pattern, just all, just all kinds of bells playing, and then he'd say, stop, and I'd stop. <laughs> and that, I think there are two or three times in the 1812 Overture where that happens. That's the most memorable thing, because 
that fast playing sort of builds up the lactic acid in your muscles, and by the time you finish, you're sort of drooping. <laughs> Streaming concerts, you know.